Well, hello there. I'd like to welcome you to Artitude Adjustment. Friday is always a fun day at Artitude, Artitude Adjustment because it's the day that we finish our product projects that we've been working on all week long. And I can show you what we did. So I'm really excited to do that today, and I'd like for, um, if, when, if you're coming in, I'd like for you to just tell me who you are and where you're from, and then uh, we'll go forward. I just noticed that the video was interrupted. It's not going to do that again, because there's no reason for this to happen. Okay, so anyway... We have a completed project today, and I want to show you what it is. So what I'll do is split my screen so you can see what's going on here. This is a world-class birdhouse for pumpkin birdhouse for the birds in my neighborhood. It's first come, first serve. And hey, Christine. And I also wanted you to know that I offered a template. If you would be interested in a template of what I've done on the birdhouse, I've hand printed these out so that I can just send it to you in an email if you're interested. The gourd came from Amazon because I didn't have any of my personal gourds available and they apparently haven't come out in this area of Alabama yet. I uh, haven't exactly been able to tackle a farmer who would help me with this. So I want to introduce you to the birdhouse because it did turn out to be adorable. If I were a bird it's where I would want to stay. But I want to know your opinion of something. Would you leave this stuffing in here? I know that the birds will appreciate it later, but do you think it adds to uh, displaying it? Um, I usually put these in birdhouses that I'm going to keep inside, this kind of stuffing. It has a name, but, it, but I call it a stuffing. Oh, uh, one other thing, very important. Welcome to the show. I don't want you to feel like I am not glad that you're here. But last week's project was a birdhouse. Uh, this is for any type of bird, although I have a lot of bluebirds in my yard when we get settled for the winter. Uh, we get settled in central Florida, and I'm going to just be twirling this around so you can see some of the work. These, um, I've left the lights on inside, as you can see, so anybody can uh, know that the lights on are, are are the lights on are for them and um, they I've always wanted to have a house with little pumpkin shutters didn't you I mean who wouldn't so uh, they have little pumpkin shutters and little window boxes uh, it's all uh, as I would want it if I were a bird so also there are a couple of jack-o-lanterns on the steps Try to put that so you can see it. And uh, I could have put a few more flowers around in that area, but it would it was just seemed unnecessary and I got tired of being cutesy. So it has a little window over, overhang and uh, so they don't get wet entrancing, uh, although this is a fake door and they're gonna hurt themselves if they fly in that way. Uh, there is a stone fireplace magnificent stone from the key lime pits of florida and then the last window is this my own version of shutters cottage shutters so um see this keeps falling into this not a good thing but it is it is cute if you're just going to be displaying it on a table now one last thing i wanted to tell you highly is that this is not perfect. Um, you could look very close and see. I'm off, I'm crooked, I haven't done some things on here. It doesn't matter. This makes it completely 
homemade, handmade, handcrafted. What's another word? And uh, I can show you the errors, but I'm not going to because oh, and these this was painted uh, with acrylic paints. Uh, at first, I put a, one coat of gesso on the uh, gourd. And then, uh, after all the painting was completed and the paint was dry, I sprayed it with two coats of this. Uh, this is triple thick glaze. I know if you looked on uh, the sea any time uh, during the week, you know I was looking for UV protectant spray uh, because this is going to be probably out in the sunshine a lot. I wasn't able to find it, but when I get mine back at home, I'm going to finish this off with one last coat of UV protectant. Um, it's paid off to do that on other outside projects I've done, so uh, I think it'll be worthwhile. So there we go for the project last week. I hope you like it, and it is an original. You won't ever find a pumpkin birdhouse uh, like this, I promise. Okay, now, the, let me see, uh, next week's project is going to be a lot of fun, and I do have a little pre-work uh, pre, uh, to do, a uh, little bit, but I had this with me. You know, I tell you, I've got about a hundred projects with me. That may be a little underestimated. I do have lots of projects with me. And this was one that I've been carrying around. And I didn't know when I was going to get to it. See, that's why this live is so good for me. It's therapeutic. Plus, it's relieving me of all these projects that I'm carrying. Like for an 18-wheeler, you know, we could have a big old truck. This is going to be a banner. And, oh, oh I meant to put you in it. Uh, let me just show you with that one screen first. This is a banner. And it looks like it could be, now I know I've got a silhouette with me, but well, I'm not gonna do that. What I'm going to do here is I believe I will still, this is put together with magnets, handy, isn't it? And it's a duck cloth. So this will be gessoed because I want it to get a little more body to it. And I'm a fan of gesso, and I told you that. But it will give it some more body, and it will give it a little bit of um, uh, the working surface that will not eat all of my paint and go through to the other side as fast. So uh, I haven't decided on exactly what the painting is going to be. I found um, on these lives that a lot of what I say on Friday and then I'll start thinking about it will not, I get a lot better ideas just sitting there thinking uh, what the next step should be. So now I also bought some wine glasses and I thought, you know, maybe that's simple. It'll be something that people would enjoy uh, learning more about, uh, some wine glass painting for the holidays. But then I said, nah. This is new. It's going to be something that you might be able to uh, use uh, during the holidays. It's going to be a hand-painted uh, project. And if there is any printing, if I decide there's going to be any verse, then it will be hand-printed. So, more mistakes, huh? No, no. More originality. More, more. So, Anyway, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm not saying that it's going to be the best in the world, but it's going to be ours. So if you have any comments or questions, I hope you'll say something. Now, we're still in Red Bay, Alabama for about another week. Uh, well, next Thursday, we'll be leaving and going to Mississippi uh, on our way to Louisiana. But tomorrow, I'm so excited. Have you ever been... Uh, we're going to a mule day, a, a mule festival, in, and it's a very famous one. It's in Winfield, Alabama, if you really want to look it up. Hey, Lynn! Hey, PJ! So anyway, Lynn, you might be interested in this. It's a mule day, and it's very famous in Winfield, 
Alabama. Uh, lots of arts and crafts. Ding, 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 ding. Yep, that's what Bert drew me to it. They said it was acres of stuff like that. So I'm always, you know, have my antenna up. And that's why whenever I see an arts and crafts section, the old ding, ding comes in. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Hey, Christy, I didn't even say hello, and I'm so glad you're here. But let me see. Uh, the project is not going to be stenciled. It will not be a transfer. It's going to be hand painted. Um, and I have the materials and the supplies to do the other if I want. But I think it will be fun just to do the other. And I've got all week to take care of it. Uh-oh, we'll be traveling one day. But I promise you, it'll be over by Friday. So anyway, if you have any questions or any comments i'd love to know what they are some of y'all came in late and i want to show you i don't think lynn saw it this is our completed birdhouse and this was the stuffing that i took out of i i put in there and then i thought eh, it, it just doesn't add anything to it not that the bird i'm mean, not that it's going to be there but the bird might appreciate it if i put it in to the little drain hole area so anyway i don't know what i'll do yet so if y'all have any uh suggestions let me know about this uh, there is a hanger up at the top which makes it very convenient for putting a sturdy hanger uh, to putting it on a tree or hanging it uh, so that a squirrel or something like that can't get a hold of it because i've had that happen a lot of times and they discourage you from putting up birdhouses, but the birds appreciate them so much, they come back every year. Isn't that crazy? So uh, anyway, um, this is the birdhouse. And like I was saying, this one has an upper room. A two, this is a two-story birdhouse. Uh, those are uh, little Italian shutters. I think that's what I said they were. They're either French or Italian. Okay, then... I always wanted some shutters with pumpkins on them. Yeah, pumpkins on your shutters. Yeah. That one has a birdhouse. I mean, a, a box, a box, flower box. Um, another entrance, uh, but he could hurt himself getting in that one with an overhang. And then some jack o' lanterns on the front step. So all decked out for Halloween, but I have a feeling it's gonna be there for Christmas too, if it works out okay. So, I just wanted to uh, give, thank you for the hearts. I just wanted to give you a little overview of what we did last week. Again, some of you, many of you who requested the templates, um, I sent them to you and um, just texted you with those and so if you're interested in that for some of your projects just let me know and i appreciate the comments it is cute i just love bird houses anyway i've made hundreds of them and uh, i always try to say if i were a bird house if i were a bird would i want to live there you know so i would now let me see if there's one Anyway, this is the this is the material that I did on the finish it finish product. Uh, this was a triple glaze, clear glaze. But I'm all when I get home, I'm going to use an, a UV as a final uh, spray on this and see if it helps out. Yes, I made lots of mistakes, but it doesn't count. Now. Um, that's about it. Um, you guys for today. Um, if you have, if you can see anything in this, on this, that you think would be cute, let me know because I am drawing a blank right now, uh, but I've got to go into my creative meditative state and it'll work out. And that was, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't do that. I mean, I do, but not that much. So anyway... Um, 
let's uh, hope for the best for next week. Uh, I will be at Mule Day on Tuesday. Where's I know, PJ, you remember the mailbox. I know I couldn't fit the mailbox on there. Uh, and then I figured that I'd rather have the jack-o'-lanterns in the mailbox, and it was getting kind of crowdy around there. Um, you're very observant. I can't pull anything over on you. Um, but if I do another one, I might do a mailbox. So uh, the mailbox, by the way, is right here. And she remembered there was supposed to be a mailbox. So... Anyway, if there's, oh, if there are any other projects that you'd like to request we do, let me know. Uh, I've got a lot of other things up my sleeve, but I can always do anything else. Um, the, I didn't even introduce myself, uh, but every, we're all family here. Um, I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment. I teach fun art, not fine art. And sometimes I even say that backwards, but I don't teach fine art. I'm, I'm very much a fun art person. And uh, right now, uh, my husband and I travel full time in our motor home. And uh, we've been doing that for 12 years, if you can believe that. So anyway, that being said, if there, if there are no other comments, I will adjourn class. Thank you very much for being here today. I am honored that you're here. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, because And remember, to, it's a great day to have a great day. So, oh, I could put this back here. Um, hope you have a great weekend. Y'all just um, be careful, and I'll see you Monday, 2.15 Central Time, 3.15 Eastern Standard Time, which I'm looking forward to returning to.